Populus ex Gilidensis, the balm of Gilead and the Salicaceae. It's actually a hybrid between two populus species, but it looks so much like the Populus balsamifera, the native balsam poplar, that it's a good substitute to show some of the key features of the balsam poplar. The balm of Gilead is only known as a female. It's never been seen as a, as a male, so it's propagated through cuttings and it's widely planted throughout the eastern United States where it's a very fast growing tree. The balm of Gilead, like all members of the Salicaceae, or most members of the Salicaceae, have an alternate leaf arrangement, and you'd recognize the leaf as in the genus Populus. Like the balsam poplar, which it resembles in many features, the leaves are very dark green on the upper surface, and the lower surface is very whitish with orange blotches. The leaf would be very much like you'd expect to find on Populus balsamifera, except the leaf base has a very distinct feature that is different than the balsam poplar. The leaf base is more heart-shaped, and the overall leaf is more heart-shaped. And that's the main difference between the balm of Gilead and Populus balsamifera, the balsam poplar. They have a lot of other similarities. The two species both have a bark that is initially smooth but quickly becomes ridged, the ridges become very thick. It's a short-lived tree. It does fall apart readily after 30 or 40 years, but in the short term provides substantial amount of shade. Populus ex Gilidensis, the balm of Gilead.